Welcome to What's in the Box. Today, we have one of my more anticipated figures. Before us is Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus from the Transformers Shattered Glass subline. And this box is way too big for this figure. I have no idea why they did that. Uh, this is a fairly new figure. Um, they, anyone who's pre-ordered should be getting it soon. Very soon, or around now, give or take. I just got mine. It also came with a comic book. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, we're just going to see what's inside this particular box. A little bit of backstory as we look at the Shattered Glass logo here and there. And zoom in a little bit on this figure. Yeah, this box is way too big for it. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be where the Autobots are evil. It, this Shattered Glass is a universe where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good. So here we have Ultra Magnus as evil. One of the neat things about this line is that they are pulling out old Diaclone colors. And we'll talk about that as we go. So this is why I'm excited about this, because this guy won't be my Ultra Magnus. He'll double as a different figure, even though he does have a pretty awesome skull-looking head. So on the side, we have uh, some nice artwork of Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus. On the other side, we have the same artwork. On the bottom, we have our legal. And on the back, we have some product shots. And this is the version of Ultra Magnus that comes out with a little blue Optimus Prime like robot inside. Um, his little bio up here is Ultra Magnus has become bored with warfare. Having ended more sparks than he can count, he sets his sights on something greater, the destruction of the universe. So, yep, he's a tyrant warlord that just likes destroying, which is basically the inverse of the Ultra Magnus that we know from most continuities. So let's get, open up this comically oversized box and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna pull out the insert here. And I am destroying the box as I'm going. This is the wrong way of doing this. Do not open your box from the top. Oh, it is destroyed. All right, so we have our instructions. And there is, inside our instructions, is our legal. We can put it inside the destroyed box. All right, in the back here, we have nothing else. We just have Ultra Magnus. Interestingly, he comes with a matrix of leadership and his BFG which I just cut loose. And there's his gun. This is the standard Ultra Magnus gun with, with this, uh, this other figures of this mold. So if you have the, any of the siege versions of this Ultra Magnus, you're gonna have this gun. So that's nothing new. We're gonna set that aside. Next, we'll pull out this one right here. We'll go work our way back. Now this is the weapons that come with the current Laser Optimus Prime, G2 Laser Optimus Prime, which I find interesting. They included them with him, with Ultra Magnus. It was a nice red sword. And then the uh, nice uh, clear plastic axe, which I guess could double as a shield. Ah, they included those with this guy, but I guess it works for like some kind of crazy warlord. All right, we'll set that aside. Next, let's try to get out the, uh, well, we'll get out his Shoulder cannons. There we go. 
So these also come standard. Now I can see that there's a lot of paint on these. That is quite a bit of shiny paint. Let me grab my alternate camera there. My alternate uh, light source. Yeah, that's a lot of paint on those. It's thick paint. Because these were originally blue. You can see that right. There's some paint chipping off there. And there. That's what happens when you get a lot of uh, thick paint. I think put a lot of thick paint on. This reminds me of the BotCon uh, and uh, Transformer Club cl uh, cl collectors figures. They always had like a lot of paint on it, like a thick coating, prone to chipping off. This one, there's no chips on this side. It's not gonna bother me too much. I mean, it does bother me, but not too much that there's paint chipping. Next up, let's get the Matrix off. We're gonna go for the back. Because we don't wanna Part the matrix and there we have a little clear plastic matrix this is also I believe the same matrix that comes with the uh, laser prime for a long time they use the same matrix over and over again now they've been designing new ones I always like to see if they open that one doesn't. All right. Over here in that box. Little packaging. So most accessories they now or any like loose accessories they don't have a place to tack on. It has frozen wrapping and paper to cut back on plastic usage. And that's the alternate head which is just a regular Magnus head. Now, let's free Magnus himself. Now, like I said, this guy's coloration is that of the original powered convoy. The Diaclone, the, the pre-existing line the, the first Transformers came from, the trans first Transformers figures came from. Let me lower this. So he's in the blue and red and black convoy colors. So, this guy can double as a powered convoy if you're looking at Diaclone figures, if you want a Diaclone collection. Or in this case, that same uh, design and co well, same color pattern was repurposed in the IDW comics as Delta Magnus. So this guy can meet your Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus with this head, your evil Ultra Magnus. As we see, we need a... Uh, Screwdriver, take that out. Let me get a closer look at that. Yeah, there, you need, that's in by a screw. So we're gonna need a screwdriver to take that out. I'm sure there's instructions in there I'm gonna need to read before I uh, destroy a figure, especially uh, more than expensive more than regular retail priced figure. So anyway, this guy can double as your Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, your IDW Delta Magnus with this head, or you can say he's a Diaclone. Diaclone powered convoy. So that's cool. Um, as we see, this is this leg has a little problem walking in. His head's a little bit wobbly. His arms go up and down. But this is your standard Magnus. J 
just a different head. So he has a uh, river on here, so that, that, that's concerning because that means they had problems with him staying together there. River band. Let's uh, take that off and see what happens to his shoulders. There goes that, uh, on there. Okay. That, uh, leg again. So I guess the shoulders aren't that much of a problem. All right, next up. take off his powered up form armor and have a look at the uh, Optimus Prime figure underneath. The convoy, if you will. Some nice clickety click. removed even these uh, arm pieces started out blue and have a nice thick coat of paint on them piece I thought was going to be hard to uh, keep on. Those arms are pretty hard to take off. Okay. We're almost there. And then if we flip this part up here. There is our inner Optimus, blue Optimus. Uh, this figure himself, I can see that there is some red paint on his fist right there. Doesn't show up very well on camera, but there is some red paint there. So this guy has a lot of paint on him as well. There's the backside. Big, uh, there's no way of collapsing that. Just want to make sure. Big behind Optimus. Or Magnus, or Delta. However you want to call him. But that's the inner robot. So transform this guy is pretty easy. I say pretty easy and these panels here just uh Oh that's right, those don't do anything. Alright, so this guy has a faux front and back. Not exactly faux. It kind of breaks apart to give a uh, a better profile. We can just flip his head back down. I 
at least being evil versions. I'm just glad they didn't make them just flip the uh, script, so to speak. That they didn't make them Decepticon, like the Autobots Decepticons and vice versa. That they actually just kept them in their own factions. So, there is uh, the trailer. Yeah, the trailer, the truck. And the form, the car trailer. You have to unfold this. Like so. And we take the other leg and unfold that like so. And these will be the back wheels. I believe I could actually be wrong with that. This is the top of the trailer. It's just basically upside down. I'm missing one step. Give me a moment here. We will po pause momentarily. All right, coming right on back here. Magic of videos, you can see that I have forgotten something very minor and very crucial. Those guys got to go together first. And then the arm pieces I have to go in like so. Or am I forgetting that as well? This is kind of stressful to do. As soon as how there's so much paint on there, so much paint to scratch. Yeah, these pieces gotta pop in first. And they face the head. Like so. And 
these two pieces here go between the calves feet like so. So this part is attached right. This here. Oh, that's one way to do it. Tabs into these two side pieces right here. And it'll fit in this slot back here. So we put this one back on there. The other side back on. Be the same on that side. And it'll pop right in there. So these little uh, slots on the side should now fit in there. This tab here will tab into that piece there. And the same on the other side. Then we have those two pieces sticking out there, which will fit in there, where it'll just basically sit on there. And then these two. I'm sorry, they won't just sit on there. They're actually going to uh, peg in, like slide in. And that portion there is going to pop into it, like so. Not sure what you want to call it. But there is the trailer. And this particular trailer I always feel like I'm forgetting a step <laughs> which I most certainly am all right those these tabs here are going to peg into, hard to see, right there. Those two tabs right there. Or not. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, it's been a little while. There we go. Those pegging to that, like so. And the other side. Pegs. into that like so and that piece sits down like that and that is how the trailer is held on then we can garnish it with our weapons The box art has them here and here. And of course we need our BFG right on top. And that is our powered convoy. I'm sorry, our shattered glass ultra Magnus in vehicle mode. Now, during the brief break, or pause there, by way of uh, movie magic, you should have seen anything uh, out of the ordinary there. The head, which we're going to quickly transform this guy back into bot mode.
got to watch the speed of that you do that. Pinch your finger just like I just did. It says the head just comes off. That's the wrong head. But actually, I don't know why I did that. We will tuck that head away. Reassemble him. Now these just fold up. Like so. There's the other one. And that piece be clipping into there's two tabs in there we'll remove the forearm pieces they're all tight so much glue uh glue so much paint That's the wrong arm. <laughs> there we go. Trial and error is acceptable to me. And now finally we have the chest piece, which just folds up underneath. Actually, let's put the matrix in there. Does the matrix fit in there? No, does the matrix fit in his chest in any way? No, there's no exact place for the matrix, so we just throw it in there? I don't like that at all. <laughs> His rocket launchers, which we didn't put in the first time. Oops. That's a tight fit once more because of all the paint. Hopefully it doesn't rub off, but I don't plan on transforming them over and over again. A matrix. One would expect it to go like so. but there's no way of popping that on. So we'll just do without that for now. To assemble this, that's gonna slide 
down his uh, back here. I'm sorry, that actually just pops into the back. Like so. And pull that down. Pop that in place. And now Mr. Bobblehead here. Apparently we can just pull that off. Oh, there we go. And we can pop on the Delta Magnus head. Okay. That was scary, but that worked out. There's him with that head. The other head came off. There is no damage to the head that I see. Very loose. Give him a BFG. And we can store this any number of places. Or we can just go to him as a sword. Attach the matrix of leadership to the hilt. There we go. Oops. Putting that right in there. There's his head. Alternate head. Let's put him back here so we get a full shot. We'll remove that. And remove the box. And there we have Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, or as I will be referring to him, Delta Magnus. And that's what's in today's box. Well, I ask at this time that you uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video if you're still watching i'm sure you did um and subscribe so you don't miss on any future unboxing videos if you didn't like this video please let me know what i could do to do better in the comments below and as always thanks for watching and have a wonderful day